So this poem is titled, My Dreams. My Dreams. I fall asleep as early as 1 a.m. before any first light, cognizant in any backhead memories, drowning happily beneath my sheets fresh from the dryer. The rain pours while others would conclude that their gods are crying. My heart builds pulses and the arteries throb. My eyes close and the third one opens. The coarse comatose thrives with sounds from my stomach. The slumber begins. There is a megalithic reptile with its head passing the cosmic sky, massive in scale, roaring in a citified distance while I, a scared little boy, sits in a getaway vehicle, passing through a western desert land, witnessing the horror of it all. I run through old colonial graveyards, escaping a man with vermilion flesh and fabrics like spleen bursts on sleeves to a bloody mouth and ebony eyes. I feel confined under waves in some sort of oceanic pool with creepy coral, swimming in place while a blade resolves, forcing me in an awkward moon dance of hysteria, although sometimes I drive through a different version of the city near my hometown where the weather is overcast, singing an urban Thanksgiving near seashores and bay points where the sun begins to sleep. I awake and tell my story to people who pursue questions like those places and experiences echoed, and I close my eyes and tell them many.